Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have achieved this Ajax request using the XML HTTP request object. Now in this video, we will see, we will try to achieve the same thing using the fetch API. So we know about the fetch API, how to do the fetch API. The fetch API relies on the promises concept. So let's try to do the same thing. So it's very easy. Just I am trying to show you the concept. What I am trying to do here, so I am removing this all the things up to here. There, there is no need for us. Let's clear mm, the token window dot btoa of uh, the thing is sorry username username plus and we need to keep the colon plus password. Okay, so that's it. So let auth token prepare the auth token is equal to um, i will try to use like this basic and dollar of auth token oh, sorry token right so this is the thing auth token now we need to uh, uh, do the same thing through the pitch api right so let's, let's create the headers headers is equal to new headers i am creating with the new headers interface headers dot append sorry headers dot append headers headers right headers dot append of authorization authorization with authorization with which one you need to do auth token right so auth token we we did and now create a request let request is equal to new request of and we need to pass the url so what is the url we need to pass it there is nothing but secret slash main.html and here we need to prepare the object first one is the method so which is the thing we are trying to do it so if you don't mention it by default it is a get request only and the next one is the headers we need to pass the headers we pass the headers now create the fetch api so fetch api what we, what we can do so fetch of request we can directly pass the request fetch fetch of request so this is one way of doing so dot then of response we got the response let's try to do console.log of response okay so let's see the output if i try to see the output let's refresh it hot refresh and let's try to do get secret message cancel it and here in the console we are able to see the response and here we are able to see the body it's a readable stream but it is a text data right so what i can do here so here i can return it using response dot text so we know that it's a text response dot text that's it now we got the data and here what i need to do is document dot get element by id of demo dot inner html is equal to data okay and if you want you can also use the catch error so catch of error so which will console dot log of error so i am doing this console dot log of error that's it so that's it so we have did the page thing and if you try to refresh this page and here i will give leela and also the leela start so we are able to get the message without any problem main.html and authorization also we are trying to send it and we are able to get the secret file okay so this is how we can do it now for example let's say that i am trying to give a wrong message and it will be asking you the sign in again if i keep on the file like this so you are able to see some message unauthorized these are all the things you are able to see it right you can also send the custom error also so custom 401 error also if you want you can send it how can i send it is in the ht axis here i can write error document 401 error and here i can say that you don't have access okay so this is the message which i am trying to keep it now here if you try to see the same thing and here i am writing some username and password and if i click on the cancel see i'm able to get you don't have access so that is a message it is trying to send it so like this you can able to send the message like this so now we have did in the two ways that is nothing but authentication thing using the 
Accenture object and also using the fetch API also we have did. In the next video what we will try to do is, so we will try to achieve the same authentication thing using the node server. Okay, using the node server. So you know node uh, can act, uh, no node acts as a two in one. Whereas this Apache and PHP or any other programming languages, Apache acts as a web server. Whereas the, it needs a server side backend language. Apache itself is not a programming language. It's a software which provides the this type of facility. Whereas Node is a different way. So Node itself acts as a server and also it's a uh, environment. Okay, so backend environment it provides as a server side environment. So we'll try to do the see. We'll try to achieve the same thing using the Node.js thing. We'll try to do it. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.